Hello, artists. Today, we are going to start our model magic sculptures. You need to put your name and your class code on the back of your cardboard. Remember, I don't have a class code because I'm the teacher. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to get my model magic. We are starting with white model magic. We will paint our sculpture at the very end. Model magic is soft, it's squishy, but it won't get your hands dirty like normal pottery clay. Here is my drawing of a koala. I have finished my drawing, I have filled in the background, and I have added texture. My drawing is the same size as my background, so I can see how big my shapes need to be to fill up the space. I'm going to start with my trees. I'm going to roll a coil with my hands. It looks kind of like a snake. I'm going to use that to make the tree trunk and the branches. I'm going to press it onto my background and make sure that it sticks. Now I am rolling a ball or a sphere for the head of my koala. I'm going to make it into a ball and then gently press it into a little pancake. I can make sure that it's about the same size and I can press it onto my background. I'm going to do the same thing with the body and the limbs or the arms and legs of my animal. Now I'm going to make another little coil or snake for arms and legs. If it's not long enough, you can break it off. You can make fingers or toes or claws by pinching and pressing your clay with your fingers. Remember, if it doesn't come out how you want it to, you can squish it and try again. I'm going to roll two more little spheres for the ears. This shape is the same as the head, only much smaller. We can use a lot of the same shapes to make different things. Here's my nose, and I'll make two more tiny spheres for eyeballs. Now that my animal is done, I can go ahead and finish the background. Make sure you use your model magic to fill up the space.
once my sculpture is complete, I can go back and add details and texture with a pencil. It might not look like a fancy tool, but you can draw right onto your clay. Try not to press too hard or squish it too much. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and smooth it out with your fingers. Kind of like erasing. There, all done with texture, ready to let it dry and then paint it next time.